Hi everyone, welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be going over the Dragunov SVD that I got not too long ago. So without further ado, let's get into this. Upon opening the package, you receive a bag of 0.20 gram BBs, and no, I have no idea how many are in there, a cheek rest, which I don't really like, a 200 round high cap magazine, would prefer mid cap, but I can't complain, it's still pretty good. Wait, 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 hold up. Where's the manual? I mean, it clearly said on the site I get a gun magazine and the manual, so where's the manual? <clears throat> so, uh, this is how you put on the cheek riser. Um, first few times, it will take a little bit to get used to putting it on and off, taking it on and off, but it's relatively easy once you got the hang of it. So, I whacked up my thumb doing this, but really, you just hold down and pull to the right, and you'll get that thing out. Then, after that, you pull the pin out, and then slide the plastic part to the right as well, so you have easy access to the um, battery compartment. And once done with that, you just take your front handguard, wiggle it to the side a little bit, and then rip it open. Uh, this will give yourself access to the battery compartment. And right, that right there, we got our connectors. So this is really the only battery that fits in the front handguard. It is, by Matrix, it is an 8.4 volt battery, small type. Um, I will have a link to it down in the description, so as the gun and the battery charger. If you already have that stuff, good for you. Now to connect this, all you need to do is just find the square hole and the round hole, just fit the two together, and shwapang, you're good to go. Just make sure you have it charged, please. Now to put it in, it's a struggle to fit it in the handguard. Um, just, just put it in the best you can, and whichever way it fits, if it doesn't bend the wires too much, displace anything, you're good. Now to p put it back together, you just stick the two pieces of polymer together, slide them in the back, and then slide the front piece back as well. Um, after this, you're going to want to insert the pin again, and just press it down, and push it in. And then you're good. Nice and fixed. The hop-up system is located in the bolt area. It's just a rotary system. Nothing too special, just up and down, up and down. and yeah. Ah, this is all the basic stuff of just semi-auto, all that, so just observe. Out of the shooting part, I have so far not ran into any problems with the gun. The only problem was a mistake on my own end, and that was not winding the wheel at the bottom of the high cap mag. Real pain for me to figure that out, it's like hey, I need to wind the wheel up. But anyway, aside from that, this thing shoots like an absolute charm. There's, It's accurate. Now, to be fair, I can't really go out and test the maximum range. Because, hey, I live in a neighborhood, my neighbors might be kind of iffy about that. So I just have to stick to my kind of enclosed yard. But with that aside, I would definitely recommend this gun. Now for field-wise, it does shoot at 420 FPS. So just look out for that. 